The election results back here at home coming in overnight. Democrats seeing a lot of success, you know, coming out on top in that closely watched race for governor in Virginia. Our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, is there in Fairfax. He was up all night tracking this and what these results also mean for President Trump. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. A big win for Democrats and a blow to Republicans, a loss the president will likely take personally. Let's start here in Virginia. Dr. Ralph Northam with a decisive victory. This race was called early. He won by nearly double digits. Now, so many people were watching this race because Virginia is a swing state. It's also the only southern state that President Trump didn't win. Now, President Trump was very active on Twitter, campaigning for the Republican here, Ed Gillespie even recording a robocall yesterday for him, but Gillespie chose to never physically campaign with the president. And last night when Gillespie lost, the president tweeted this out from South Korea. Ed Gillespie worked hard, but did not embrace me or what I stand for. Now that's not exactly correct because Gillespie did adopt some of the Trump policies. He just chose to never physically appear with the president here. So the president taking a parting shot there. We also should mention Robin, 30% of voters told us in exit polls, they came out to vote yesterday to show opposition to Trump. So the president clearly played a role in this election, Robin. And the results in New Jersey, Tom, seem to be telling a similar story. That's right, it is officially the end of the Chris Christie era. Phil Murphy, the Democrat, with a big win yesterday in New Jersey, winning by 12 points, in part by tying his opponent, the Republican, Kim Guadano, to the very unpopular governor, Chris Christie. Guadano, of course, the lieutenant governor, serving under Christie, and Christie, a Trump ally that we all know, Robin. Yes, and there was another headline coming out of Virginia, the first openly transgender candidate elected to a state house. Yeah, this was big news here in Virginia. Virginia voters uh, elected the first openly transgender candidate, as you mentioned, to the state house. Now, her name is Danica Rome, and she actually beat the incumbent Republican yesterday. And this is someone who was a social conservative and who attacked her gender identity, but she overcame that. And once she's elected, she will be the first, as you mentioned, openly transgender candidate to serve in a state house, Robin. Ever. That's right. Big moment there. All right, Tom, thank you.